How's it going folks? I decided that I would do a video featuring 10 train moments from 2018 that are in my opinion my top 10 moments. Okay, here we go. Number 10. The Hawking Valley Scenic Railway's Baldwin RS4TC Switcher number 4005 substitutes on the 230 train. One afternoon, early in July, GP10 number 701 had an issue between the noon and 230 trains, so they had to go get number 4005. It was exciting because 4005 is normally used for switching things around, and it rarely sees passenger service. Number 9. Seeing CNO614 at the CNO Railway Heritage Center. We took a trip on Amtrak's Cardinal back in June to visit the CNO Railway Heritage Center in Clifton Forge, Virginia. Former CNO 484 number 614 is on static display there. We were able to get a good look at the huge beast inside and out. Number 8. Pacing CSX in Parkersburg, West Virginia. On Thanksgiving morning, we got the chance to rail fan a CSX train near Low Yard in Parkersburg. The train was being pulled by a Jeevo and an AC4400 CW. The train kept moving back and forth in order to pick up more cars out of the yard. But the highlight for us was getting to pace the train. Number 7. 10 Unit Lash Up in Columbus, Ohio. Back in March, we visited Cook Road in Columbus for the first time, and the visit did not disappoint. The highlight was a Norfolk Southern Manifest with 10 units. The Lash Up featured a variety of road names. Number 6. Cedar Point and Lake Erie Railroad number 44 Judy K. The highlight of going to Cedar Point for me was getting to ride and rail fan the Cedar Point and Lake Erie Railroad. Pulling the train that day was 240 number 44 Judy K. Number 5. Rare High Hood in Columbus. During another trip to Cook Road, we had the experience of seeing something rare, a Norfolk Southern High Hood. We arrived at Cook Road just as the train was coming through. Fortunately, I was able to get footage of the High Hood. Number 4. New River Train in Charleston. We headed to Charleston in late October to see the New River Train go through. We caught it in the Kanawha City neighborhood of Charleston. A trio of P-42s led the train, and as usual, the New River Train featured a variety of privately owned coaches. Number 3. The Wabash Unit leads Kanawha River Railroad coal train. Watco's Kanawha River Railroad runs over the former Norfolk Southern West Virginia Secondary and uses some diesels that are owned by Watco and also a few diesels that are released. But the coal trains usually feature Norfolk Southern power leading. One coal train back in March featured something special, Norfolk Southern's Wabash Heritage Unit. It had actually came through a few days before, but came back north on a Saturday evening. This was my first and so far the only Norfolk Southern Heritage Unit that I have seen. Number 2. Hawking Valley Number 3 makes its soft return. The Hawking Valley Scenic Railway's 060 steam locomotive Number 3 had been out of service because of some leaks, but returned to service softly on the second weekend of October. Number 3 did well on that weekend and would go on to be officially scheduled to run a few weeks later. Number 1. Amtrak Cardinal number 50 overtakes CSX coal train. During our trip to Charleston to see the New River train, we also made it a goal to see the regular Amtrak Cardinal. As we waited for the Cardinal, an eastbound CSX coal train came through. But as it was going by, a light appeared on the other track and the Cardinal flew by. Well folks, that concludes my list of top 10 trains for 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you all have a happy new year.